No, they suffer from anxiety, deep depression, and previous trauma. Trauma means it's a huge uh, pain, pain, pain that the child is experienced, probably because of the divorce, deep divorce, probably because of separation in the family, probably because of various types we can imagine. So the <coughs> trauma makes it want to die. No, they do not want to die. They are trying to cope with their problems and pains. But however, there is a higher risk of suicide. Suicidal tendencies are there. We are not justifying self-harm, doesn't lead to death. Yes, it will not immediately lead to, but there are huge tendencies, higher risk of suicidal tendencies coming in. So the reality is there is, but they don't want to die. Okay, if the wounds are in bad, it's not that serious. People say it's small wounds. Why to take it serious? Leave it at that. But it's not so. Don't assume that way. Because the wounds and injuries are minor, but they are suffering. You might consider as wounds are minor, but they are still, the child is suffering. They are moving on, yeah? This is, to understand this self-harm, self how do they do about it? We need to understand a bit of adolescent psychology. Okay, the hormonal changes, the testosterone and estrus, estrogen, that plays a vital role in developing it. So that if you understand that, then you will understand why do they behave in that way. Yeah, that's all right, that's the problem. They are moving on. Yes. Next, next. It will come on. Okay. See, the physical maturation and adult reproductive functions are controlled <laughs> by endocrine system. That operates through hypothalamus pituitary conagal system. Hypothalamus which operates, which makes you to pituitary and comes into sexual organs called conagal system, conads. Okay, during the prenatal period, which means when we were fetus, when we were fetus, not come out, Prenatal period, hormones called androgens organize the reproductive system. However, but these hormones are suppressed after birth. Once you are born, those organs are not no longer strong. It is silent, suppressed. Yeah, moved. It is struck. One minute. So I'll explain. So once it is struck, it appears as the testosterone. And estrogen. Testosterone is a male hormone for a boy. Estrogen is a female hormone. If I'm wrong, if I'm okay, if I'm wrong, sir, so is please correct me, science. Okay. okay. So that makes them so suddenly it emerges, makes them to prepare them for puberty. Puberty. Suddenly, all of a sudden, they like that's emerging. So that during that process, that so-called estrogen or testosterone uh, hormones segregates more more than the normal. So everywhere bulging takes place, everywhere muscles growing up, everywhere okay, fat and the widening of the hip takes place. So therefore, during that time, the child goes through, see they are like at the age, at the starts of the puberty process, gradual maturation of the body and reproductive system. They are missing. Okay, until puberty, boys and girls produce roughly the same amount. But after puberty, you will see there is an upsurge, increase of sex hormones. Upsurge of sex hormones. That the girl becomes a, a produce more estrogen and boys produce more testosterone because of which what happened all identity crisis takes place so long ago, i was so small i was slim <laughs> suddenly this comes and makes me bigger i don't like my body i don't like my body because i am fat <coughs> everywhere big so that child is not accepted whereas in the case of boy it is something beautiful for him positive for him because he is becoming ideally become an ideal man bigger man, muscle man, whereas in the case of girl, she thinks that this is not correct for me. I want to be slim because cultural tells me, American culture or any western culture tells me I have to be slim. Only then I will be accepted, I will be loved. Otherwise nobody takes me into the friendship groups. So all types of psychological problem goes through in the minds, in and around the mind because of this physical development. Yeah. Okay? Body grows taller, heavier, things will miss Okay? One minute. Yeah, yeah. See, girls experience physical changes. The most important change is the blood breast and widening of the hips, rapid weight gain, all that takes place. The gain in the body fat, rapid, all that. Yeah, continue. Okay, as I already told about masculine body. Suppose the boy is not having masculinity, he also feels low. He also feels low. Otherwise, he feels okay at home. Everything is going good. So because of this, got lots of other identity problem comes in. One of the identities that because they don't like themselves, because the teacher is also shouting, the parents are also not shouting, 
all that any Tom and Harry walks in alone, you are studying. Please study well. All types of advices that you will receive. Because of that, that child is bogged down and next is the child is downcast. Because of these sort of factors which makes them to feel okay, lower. See? Yeah, okay. So it includes learning, sexual desire, sexual attitudes, values, integrating with the feelings, experiencing new self-image. So far you had an old image, which is very much a certain one. You are up to 10, you are certain of that image. Now suddenly at the age of 11, suddenly you see new image is building up. New change is taking place. I am not at, at home with that change. I don't like that change. Okay? Mind also changes a lot of things. Yeah. Okay? Social, cultural difference. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay, you see some cultures, some cultures they say some of the activities are okay, healthy, but some other cultures they consider to be inappropriate. Like for example, as Indians, we don't like it. Like such a culture to the child moving about with the boys. Uh, I don't know, Asian cultures do not accept it. All the individualistic cultures might agree, but not the collectivistic culture. Collectivistic culture means Asia is a collectivistic country. Whereas the, the Europe is an individualistic country, so they might agree. But we do not agree, of course. So collectivistic culture, so that's a contradictory image. Western world con con confuses us with slim image is beautiful. Eastern world is suffering with that. Every child is suffering with that. So that is what makes the physiological differences. You see, she wants to be attractive. Okay, sexual attractiveness, that causes the target of sexual violence. You see, how many are targeting? So targets of sexual violence, they don't accept it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you keep moving. So all these points that I spoke about, culturally one thing, I we move on to, because of these factors, because of all these factors, self-harm. Now coming back to the point of self-harm. Okay, all that makes them to feel afraid to face reality. Many of them are not able to face the reality. Sorry, because of my work, it is not working. Some difficulty, some stuck down. Because of that, no. Yeah, because I want the other point, self harm. Yeah, Emotional, emotional development gets affected, <coughs> rejected, all that I care about greatly about relationship, friendships. I know many students, sir, that guys are not calling me for their group friendships. They are rejecting me. Some of them are not accepting me at all, sir. Crying, some of the students are crying. I have been in the counseling field for many years. Even in this school, I have come across two children coming and crying. Sir, they are not accepting me in my group. Why? There are some other issues. The child is not, every child is not, every child is a unique child. We always believe everyone is unique. But however, that accommodation doesn't come. Probably because of the child's problem or probably because of the group. There are many issues. So therefore, you see, relate both same gender, opposite gender. They go through peer pressures. Feelings of insecurity is there. Experience mood swings. Develop infatuations. So-called crush. Therefore, we coming back to the point when the child experiences a turmoil type of an experience child is going through not only physiologically emotionally also and then you take out family situations the divorced parents you take out other situation expectations of the teacher is very high expectation of the parent is very high 97 marks the child is scoring for example you take consider consider the example of european child and asian child if the, the child, both the child has scored 97 European child will take the 97 means they will marry me, they will party. But a 97 in the Indian child scored 97 means why three marks less? That's an attitude we have. We don't appreciate it. We are interested in finding fault, not finding a remedy. We are always interested in finding fault with the situation. That's what makes us to think all that makes the self from see cutting, burning, branding, hair pulling, curling, all that takes place. Okay, these are the signs that you can notice if you have done this. Okay, cutting or severely scratching your skin is considered to be a sign. If you're burning or scalding, scalding means boiling. Okay, hitting yourself or banging your head is considered to be cutting. Punching things, throwing your body against the wall or heart of this. Sticking objects into your skin is considered to be. Okay, intentionally preventing wounds from healing, purposely. Purposely you don't want the wound to be healed. That's also, yeah. Swallowing poisonous substance, inappropriate objects. Okay, unstable or dysfunctional self-image, distorted sense of self. You don't have a proper self. 
because I believe James Marcia, a psychologist, Ms. Joinder will agree with me, he speaks about four types. One is identity diffused, identity foreclosure, third one he says identity crisis, and the fourth one he says identity achieved. So they, in this process, the child is enduring with no commitment, lots of confusing elements are there. So therefore we see distorted self, self, image of the self, feelings of isolation, boredom, emptiness, avoiding social and family functions, so he doesn't want to go for a party. Mom is calling, he doesn't want to go just because of that. Unstable relationship, intensicate, insomnia, lack of sleep, okay, trouble in concentration, <coughs> abandonment, rejection, okay, intense, strong feelings of anxiety, worry, depression, all that, these are the signs that you can say, is signs that can be found out where the child is doing self-harm, okay? Am I right? This is too much? However, few things you can notice as signs and symptoms. Next. Warning signs, see unexplained wounds or uh, scars can be blood stains in clothes, towels that you can see. That can be another. Okay, sharp objects like scissors, cutting instruments, okay, then frequent accident, purposely makes accidents. Purposely, either tomorrow the two-wheeler in the classroom also while walking, hitting at it, falling it down, okay, taking it to cleaning. These are the signs and symptoms the child is not helping himself. Covering up the situation. Okay, when there is a wound, cover up with the long sleeves. Okay, needing to be alone in a long period of time. I'm in the bathroom, I want to be alone for a long time. Why? I am going through social rejections. You can ostracize oneself. Isolation and irritability, all the time feeling irritated. Anything you say, getting upset and angry. Silently, sometimes some children will reveal, many children do not reveal. They show it through cutting. Okay, yeah, moving on. General characters, this does not mean I am nothing negative about only them. There is a possibility, positive, they are highly individual children. I believe every generation is smarter than the previous generation. If I am smart, means my son will be smarter than me. My dad will not be smarter than me. Clear point is a high child, highly intelligent child. Okay, sheltered kids, overprotected kids, not like us. Okay, my dad told me, if you don't study, you don't have a future. But today, the dad cannot say, if you don't study, you can. That's the situation that growing up, more protected and pampered child. They have lower EQ. You tell about your troubles, dad, keep quiet, shut up and go. I don't, I'm not interested in your, your all your slogs. Okay, come on, treat me, have fun. That's what and the media is so virtual parents. They don't want a parent, they want the media. So much addictions. Okay, virtual parents. More visual than artificial. Something good, something good. They look for model, visible model in me. Only then they believe. Not the talking, advising, keep on giving feedback, do that, do that. Completely don't, uh, don't like, they run away from the situations. They like visual parents. So becoming visible, I have to be role model, visibly seen. Only then they will be effective. They will see me and change, otherwise nothing. And entertainment, my education has to be entertained, which means I should have fun and frolic. I need to have brain breaks in the classroom. I need to have some games, some fun with them. Only then they like education through fun, entertainment, egalitarian society. In our times, we went through a lot of discriminations. But today, nothing of that's an equal, egalitarian perspective. That's all, whether you are from that side or this side, or a part of that city, this side of the city or that side of the city, all are equally, egalitarian prevails. Okay, open and eager and confident, they are very open. Go to New York and come back, the 10th ten, ten, ten grade child is willing to go and come back. When we were studying in college, come on, travel in Mumbai, local train, no, I'm afraid. But today, the child is willing to. That's what I'm telling you, open and eager to learn many things. Pressure to succeed, lots of pressure. When my dad finished grade 12, he was already getting government job. But today, even if you do do two MBA, okay, too many degrees, MBA also, go to United States and study and come back, still your job is jobless. Succeed. Pressure is too much. Everything pressure. So multitaskers. Today children are multitaskers. Unlike we concentrate only one thing at a time. But today five things, six times. Say they could do more. But the problem is that result will not come. They could do many things, but they cannot achieve. So poor confident persuasion skills, yeah. <coughs> so therefore, this is my approach. Okay, empathy and empathy and empathy, nothing else. <coughs> okay, you need to be encouraging. You need to listen to them. Okay, sometimes what happens, when you are listening, they will tell. We are not listening. We have an attitude of so-called, no? Uh, before he expressed only, we have an answer. How many of us really answer? To, uh, we listen, listen to answer, not to understand. Yeah. yeah. Immediately we prepare our mind because our schema is such. 
our mental makeup is such our stereotype is like that my teacher taught me like that therefore i have to teach in this manner yeah. that's sort of stereotype we have grown up so that's our empathy and empathy yeah. Sorry, yeah, because of the technical problems. Okay, therefore, I feel empathy guidance means more to help them direct their lives. You are supposed to be an accompaniment, not a bossing over. I say you do it. No, I am an accompaniment. That's all. I need to make them direct their lives, develop their own point of view, not my point of view. Okay, many times our ego tells us ego means what? Edging goodness out of my life, edging God out of my life. That's our thinking from us. Develop. Our own point of view. Make their own decision. Make them to decide. That's what our MIP teaches us. Okay. Maximize their potentials. Carry their own burdens in life. And assist the maximum available. Available to them. Give them assistance. Okay, yeah. This is the main approach that I have developed. This our empathic approach in my counseling. Carl Rogers says very, very strongly. Empathy. Empathy, he speaks about in German term, influence. Influence means stepping into someone else's feet. Yeah. Many times we confuse with the sympathy and empathy. Yeah. Sympathy means weep with those who weep, which means emotional understanding of the one who is going through. That's sympathy. Empathy means intelligent, intellectual understanding of the mass person who is going through difficulties. Okay, that's what in empathy we don't cry. In sympathy we we'll cry. When the other fellow is crying, I also will cry. In empathy we don't cry. I stand as a great model, great help offered to him. But I know the suffering of the guy. That's enough, I believe. So as a teacher, as we are in this school, we have to make the teacher a resilient child. Resilient. Okay, Ms. Joginder will explain about no, what no, is no. this resilient. Stronger. I'm not, I'm see social competence. We need to make them socially competent. Solving, problem solving strategies sense of purpose and future, we need to allow them, we have to lead them through that, okay, autonomy, self-esteem, self-efficacy, all that which makes the child resilient. resilient, very strong child, no matter whatever the difficulties, I can endure with, not that I can score 100 out of 100, no, I, for me it's okay, 80 marks also, but I am resilient, I am able to overcome that, that's an attitude that we have to develop, yeah. So therefore, strategies may develop an attitude of friendliness. I remember last year I went here with the place, the child was not friendly with me. I was told the child, okay, counselor, they brought the child to me, but the child is not friendly, man. Then I found out the child is friendly with Sir Nikhil. Then I directed to Sir Nikhil. The Nikhil was operating because the child is listening to the, him. Favorite teacher, they listen to that. So friendliness. They long to be part of friends group. We need to assist. They don't treat them like a children, which means you think that they don't know anything. Don't treat them like a children. Come on. You need to sit with them, this discussion, planning, decision making. Okay, they don't understand your adult perspective of love. They have crush. They have this sort of petty ways of going about. That need to be allowed. But at the same time, don't humiliate them in front of the opposite sex. They don't like it. Hurt it. All that. That's all. Encourage them in sports, physical activities. That's really good. That's what Sand often tells us in our school. Come on, give them fun game, entertainment. Come on, give them physical activity. That's really needed. In psychology, we say rumble play. It's encouraged. We need to have the rumble play. Running around, finding all this. Feel at home. Make it a reality. Simply talk, okay, feel at home with me. It's a reality. Is it a reality? That's an ideological statement that we are making. We need to make it reality. Don't be too formal. Become casual, spend time, talk with them, passion, interest. Love them lavishly. Correct them sparingly. Okay, we all the time correct them lavishly, love them very sparingly. <laughs> Have an approach to this. Love them lavishly, correct them sparingly. Don't expect too much. Okay, everybody cannot be air Raman in the music field. All are going for music class. Their capacity only. 60 percentage child, you cannot expect 100. Hey, if he's able to score 60, 65, okay, fine. Expectation, not only from the teacher's part, from the parents' part too. That's all. Do not... Do not displace your anger. Sometimes we dis displacement is a psychological defense mechanism. Uh -huh. For example, when my boss shouts at me, I do not shout at him back for his mistakes. I shout at my wife because she is vulnerable. Uh -huh. She is not a strong personality like me. She is weak, so we displace it on someone else. Or I, I, I share my anger onto my students. Displacing. Weaker sections we display. Please do not displace your anger. Counselor, if you are a teacher, basically you are a counselor. Teacher needs to be genuine, trustworthy, okay, and human. That's what this is what, yeah, ultimately, finally.
Okay, therefore, when you find the students confiding in you, focus on the feelings. Don't get uh, in, interested in many other things. Only the feeling the child is going through. Don't go for graphical analysis, mm. which is not allowed. Just uh, emotional okay? state. Yeah, only state emotional state. point of view thinking. Okay, encourage them to communicate comfortably. Make them to feel at home. Spend the time, listen, but avoid correction and condemnation. Understand the problem. Do not identify the problem with that. You know, Michael, that problem makes me to think about Michael. No. Okay? Offer support and confidence. Figure out threat or self-harm. Where is it? Identify the self-harm triggers. Is the sadness trigger the child? Anger or shame, loneliness, guilt, emptiness, helplessness, past trauma. What that made the child to go for this trauma, this self-harm? All that you can check out. Find new coping strategies and techniques. Painting, drawing, writing, listening to music, poem, mood, page to stage activities, our school gives us opportunity, assembly practices. Okay, punch the pillow when he's angry, punch the pillow, go for playing basketball with Sir Nikhil, he will train you. Okay, that way, exercise regularly, vigorously, make some noise. Sometimes allow them to make noise, they're not able to. Make noise, hold an ice cube in the crook of your arm and leg, hold it, then tune something with this very strong taste like chili pepper. Okay, hold on stage, encourage them to participate more, talk to parents, talk to favorite teacher, friends, bring the immediate attention to supervisors. Sometimes some cases are immediately prefer them. Visit them in their homes. In the past we used to do. In the past our teachers used to come and see. Sometimes visit home, the child is a difficulty. I'm not telling you to visit now. But these are the techniques, so many strategies are there. My point is if we, we are empathetic, many things can be overcome. Yeah, continue. That's what I feel. Now I brought how far you are able to solve the problems. I brought an assessment, okay? Brought an assessment how far we are strong 